This video is going to show you how to thread a FAF 362 uh, and also 360 and I believe this covers models 230, 332 and 338. <coughs> um, you've got your spool pins up top uh, which hold the thing but to start we'll do the uh, bobbin case uh, which has an opening on the top and then on the side where your tension tab is, there's a screw for adjusting the tension. Inside on the back side of that tab is a groove that runs up and to the right, <clears throat> which is important when we thread our or put our bobbin in the case where our thread goes over top to the right. You pop it in because you're going opposite of that groove. Pull it down through. There's a little lip on the tab here. You pull it through there, and that does it. And a little tension. Like I said, you can adjust it if you need to. Uh, then on the bottom of the machine, inside is where the shuttle is for holding the bobbin case. Make sure your needle's in the top position, and your opening. A little gap to the top. And then it pops in. <clears throat> and then, as for threading the machine, this is a, a dual thread machine. So you've got two sets of guides over top this knob. This is a double hold thread guide. And there's two slots inside the uh, thread tension and then your thread take up arm has a couple holes a couple thread guides down here and then one over top the needle and then going through the needle so just going to show how to do it basically when we're going over top through these top loops if you're on this side you're pulling your thread to the left if you're on this side you're pulling to the right to hook it in and that's all and we take one of our holes in this upper thread guide so we go through Now as you can see inside, there's actually two series sets of discs, so when you're doing your dual thread, and then a thread take up spring. So make sure you're through one set of the discs one side. If you're doing a double needle thread, uh, make sure your other thread is in the other side of the disc. Hold it, pull it up so it locks over this little lip. Sorry about that. Then we go through our thread take up lever. And then our first hook here, basically pulling to the left, or I'm far, sorry, pulling from the left to the right. And then zoom in here and then the next one we're pulling up to the back so we're going front to back and threading it left to the right there's a underneath the needle clamp there's a little clip and now you're going from the rear right and then just bring it forward so your threads in front now with your needle all the way in the highest position there's a lever on this side for this needle threader mine's missing the clip so I put one of those uh, manual 
There's a little needle threaders through it to save some time. And your thread goes through the needle from the front to the back. And then you hold it, run one loop, pull your upper thread up, pull both through, and trim it. Now you're ready to sew.